Hi, it's Steve, and welcome to my workbench. I wanted to take a minute and do a quick review of this poorly designed product. And I usually don't bother doing this sort of stuff, but as I searched YouTube, I found several users out there that are kind of promoting this thing favorably. It's not worth it. And let me show you why this is not worth it and why it's actually quite dangerous. Well, right off the bat, it looks like a professionally finished product. It's got a nice little switch here that indicates fan or heat. They give you some sticky goo so you can stick it to your dash. There's holes there if you wanted to screw it to your dash, but I don't think I would do that. Here's dead giveaway number one. Let me show you this. This, usually on a quality product, is a fuse holder. There is no fuse in there at all. In addition to that, these little forks are what would be the negative portion of the wiring. And as you notice, yes, the wire is flexing, but this solder, solder joint right here, solder joint, is so poor that you can swivel <laughs> this negative tab around on the wire. So that's number one. And if you look around the device elsewhere, there is no fuse anywhere. So what that means is if this device has a malfunction of any kind or starts drawing extremely high current, you will either blow the fuse in your vehicle for the cigarette lighter port, or you potentially could damage the electrical wiring harness in your vehicle by using this device. Let me uh, fast forward here through the disassembly and uh, we'll take this thing apart and I'll show you what's inside of it and yet another reason why it's junk. Let me show you this. This switch has a rating of 3 amps at 250 volts, 6 amps at 125 volts. What's interesting is this contact right here got hot enough to melt the solder from the ceramic element wiring. That tells you it was pushing an awful lot of current. Now I've gone ahead and I've measured the resistance across this heating coil. And in order for it to operate safely under 6 amps, that would mean we'd need at least 2.5 ohms across here. I measured 1.6, which means this guy is poorly designed. The switch is a light duty switch for this application. The tabs that attach these spades to the ceramics, the rivets are even loose. It's just not worth the money. So my recommendation is to follow the instructions on the side of the box if you bought one of these, recycle it, throw it in the trash. Thanks for watching and hope this helps someone not purchase one of these before they hurt their vehicle.